Welcome to our North Carolina Synod Christmas worship service that we've recorded for you to use on Christmas Day, the Sunday after Christmas, any time in between, or for you to come back to and just listen to uh, on your own as part of your Christmas worship celebration. We're all celebrating the hope of Jesus born for us with the Festival of Lessons and Carols. Lessons and Carols, just as a matter of uh, interest and curiosity, originated on Christmas Eve 1918. There's no record of any such thing before that. It was at King's College in England. The service often begins with the old English tune, Once in Royal David's City, and includes lessons that span what we call salvation history, from the beginning of Genesis uh, all the way through, of course, to Jesus and even beyond. We're aware that maybe the past several Christmases you haven't been able to gather in ways with family or congregation that you might have prior to that, but the story has no less power of the birth of a baby in the back streets of Bethlehem, and it has no less relevance for sure. This baby, Jesus the Christ, changed and is changing the world. Through this series of lessons and carols, we are reminded again that our hope is made manifest in Jesus. Our first reading tells of the age-old struggle with sin despite God's desire to be in relationship with God's people. As humans, we continued to fall away. The prophecy of Isaiah sets the stage for God's dramatic intervention, becoming one of us, a Messiah, born of Mary. May the beautiful music and these time-honored readings be a blessing to you this morning, this evening, whenever you're using it, as we prepare our hearts and minds to continue in the hope of Christmas. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. 
Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins, those we know and those known only to you. For the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus Christ, our Savior, amen. Hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives us all our sins, not through our own work, but through Jesus Christ, made known to all people. With all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of grace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from Genesis chapter 3. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, the servant tricked me and I ate. He drove out the man and at the east of the garden of Eden, he placed the cherubim and a sword flaming and turning to guard the way to the tree of life.
The second lesson comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2b, and then verses 6 and 7. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
A reading from Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive and bear in your womb a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, a servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The fourth lesson from Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went um, from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David.
to us on Christmas Day. The fifth lesson is from Luke chapter 2, verses 5 through 7. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. A reading from Luke, the second chapter. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors.
The seventh lesson from Luke chapter 2. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Night and day, all creation praises you, O God. Strengthen your church across nations, denominations, and traditions. Fill us with wisdom and unify our proclamation of your forgiveness and mercy. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. All creation is holy to you, O God. You cause the earth to bring forth its shoots and gardens to spring up. Protect hibernating animals and frozen lands that wait earnestly for longer days of awakening and growth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. The nations are upheld by your hand, O God. Cause righteousness and praise to spring forth, inspiring leaders to serve with compassion and integrity. Send your spirit of discernment upon legislators grappling with complex decisions for the sake of the common good. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Send the spirit of your Son into our hearts, O God. Come quickly to hearts that race with fear, hearts that break with grief, and hearts that long for wholeness. Reveal your power to heal and to save. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Adopt us into your family, O God. Bless our elders with the peace and joy of Simeon and Anna. Strengthen those who have retired, those who work in older age, and those who need income, food, company, or health care. Connect young and old across generations. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these prayers and all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
reading from John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you this day through the word made flesh.
Go in peace. Prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh,